Hey there, and welcome back to the video series about Firebase and the CRUD. So previously we created the update, so we are able to update uh, preview. We can modify it and we can hit update and it's going to reflect in the front end and also in the Firebase backend here. So the last thing is delete. We need to implement the delete because it's not working right now. And it's we can do this pretty much the same way as we've been doing with uh, update. And recall that we were using, uh, let me see if I can find it here, the reviews, we attached the event listener. And we don't know really the, if it is update or delete. And we had to check for this in the uh, function down here if the target class list was edit. So we can do the same for delete. So we know that it is actually the delete button that the user clicked. So if we uh, make a new function here, delete review, and what should we have in this? Well, we need we still need to get the actual. Uh, review note and we also need to check for if it contains not delete or not not edit but delete now then we know that uh, we're doing the right thing so what do we need to do in here well we need to get the id first because we need to tell firebase that it should remove uh, a review note with this id okay so we're going to take the id from that then we're going to use our database reference and uh, we're gonna reference the uh, reviews and then the ID. Then we're gonna ask Firebase to remove it. So we have a handy function called remove. So it says database, go to this reference here in the reviews and remove the review with this ID. And let's see what happens here. First, if we refresh it, let's take the user three here. So nothing really happens. I probably made a mistake here. We can get E. Oh yeah, we need to pass along the E there so we can actually use it. So if we refresh it again, say delete, nothing happens, but let's see in Firebase that it has actually deleted it. So it's the same issue again that Firebase actually did what we asked it to do, but it has not updated it. And this is because we need to uh, tell our web application that it needs to listen for any, not changes, but removals. So whenever a child has been removed, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do this, but we're not gonna do the same thing here. We're not gonna, actually insert it because we are removing a, a review so we need to find it and remove it in our list and the way we do this is that we can do review node and then we can take the parent node this is going to take the the ul and then we can say remove child and we can take the review node and remove it okay so we identify the parent node, that's the UL, and then we tell the UL to remove one child, one LI, and and then we uh, pass along the review node as the parameter. So if we go back here and we refresh, let's see what's happening now. If we delete this one there, so now it's gone. And it's gone in Firebase, <coughs> sorry. And we can take the last one there removed from firebase as well okay so that was sufficient there removed everything so that is basically a simple way to remove something in firebase use the remove function there and i think it kind of concludes the series uh, i think there is only one thing that we were missing and that is probably the we forgot to do the created at so we you can see when uh, a review had been made. Created at because we did pass along the created at uh, value in the 
uh, in the function, but we didn't use it. So, so we created at seems fine there. So let's see here, user and good pasta. Good atmosphere. So you can see here, actually it didn't reflect it right away. Let's see, we save the data. So something's wrong here. What do we need? Okay. So it need, just needed to be refreshed a bit there. So uh, we can update it now and save the changes to Firebase and just kind of reflect it. There is one thing there with the date there that we probably need to do. So we should use the created at that is formatted right there. Then we should have a nicely formatted date there we can use. Update that, remove the 222, update it, and yeah, and we can delete it. Whoop. But probably when we delete it, we should also remove clear the, the user form there. So the last thing could be to to make a yet another convenience method clear form that's pretty simple function there so we're going to take the full name whoop i'm going to say value equals nothing and message equals nothing and also the hidden id Right, so whenever we're done with deleting here, clear form, and uh, let's see if there are any other places where we need to put this. Maybe when we create a new one there, maybe when we submit something, it could be clear form. All right, so let's see. So we have no, no interest in Firebase, no reviews, user, good food. This is what we like. So it clears the form. If we want to update it, oh, something's wrong there. Oh, this should go to the shouldn't go to the update, it should go to the delete. Of course, we only should put it if we actually delete something because this one is going to run also. Code is going to run here if you if you also update because this is only conditional check that checks if we're deleting something, okay? Okay. So, now this should work. So let's create something new, add update, let's just go refresh it. So we have this guy there, let's go update, we can update it, we can modify it. It's gonna reflect here. We can go back to there. Yep, we can also delete it, and it's gone from Firebase, All right? I think this concludes the video series about how you can create a, a CRUD web application using uh, JavaScript and connecting to Firebase real-time database. And uh, most likely you could uh, improve on this, refactor this, create more functions to, um, to avoid duplicate code maybe. Um, but I think this is okay for now. So yeah, right? Thanks for watching and I hope you can make this work. Okay, bye-bye.